On the vlog today, we're gonna check out a store that you guys have written in and told me that I need to check out. Never been there before, so I'm listening to you. I found some amazing pieces that I'll be keeping for my home. Can't wait to share them with you guys. They're all right here in my trunk. No peeking. And also I found a bunch of good stuff that I will be painting and reselling at my junk store. Browse with me and then I'll meet you back here and I'll show you what is in my trunk. We're total treasure hunters. It's Sonia. Welcome back to my daily vlog. It's me here in the passenger seat and it's Matt right here. He's the pilot today. That is I. I am here. It's gonna slide. It's gonna slide? Woohoo! He's ready to go for a ride around the turn here. Guys, we just dropped my sister and brother-in-law off at the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh airport. They are on their way back to Canada and we are down in the area. I pulled up my Google Maps and I said find me a thrift store to go check out. So I want to see what kind of stuff we can find down here in a much more populated area are there a lot more people donating stuff I mean what are the prices like what do you guys what are you finding out there versus like rural versus going to the city to junk what usually works for you so we're gonna we're gonna go check out I do believe this place is called a what's it called st. Vincent, Vincent de Paul st. Vincent de Paul it's a Catholic so charity store, yeah. we are gonna go check it out and see what we find today I'm sure we'll find something So I have never been to a St. Vincent de Paul thrift store before. Hmm. I'm liking what I see outside so far. Do you guys have one in your area? Oh, look at that bookshelf right there. That's a pretty cool piece. Well, let's say 50%. Oh, this is going to be good. a nice vase right right there 89 cents
Okay, let's dig the stuff out. <laughs> we got some good stuff, including two boxes. Do you see them back there? We are in the car trunk, we're back home, and now I get to unload all these fabulous goodies. Got it for, say it with me, $4.99. This has just got classic black edging. It'd be fun to even put like a pop of color or something on there. Tell me below, what color would you dry brush this in? Is there one that speaks to you? If you need a $5 mirror, you should totally check out your local thrift store. Okay, next thing, 89 cents, guys. Look at this really cool tin that I found. I love the fact that it has that antique look into it, a little bit of a high-end look, just with the finish that is on here. These are really cute as well, if you guys are like thinking about the gift-giving season ahead, even going to your local thrift store and picking up a bunch of these, and then go to the dollar store or something like that. You know, fill it with some, I don't know, hot chocolate or do whatever sort of gift pack you want to do but finding a base like this for 89 cents is a great thing i could also punch some holes into it turn it into a planter or just put it into my bathroom roll up some you know some smaller towels hand cloths things like that so what would you use this for if you got it and would you have taken it home for 89 cents the next piece i got is a piece of decor for your wall. Honestly, it could even stand up against something like on a tabletop. You guys see what that looks like right there? Thought it was super cool. I do love the green patina that's into it. Do you see how this looks right here? Like this aged, it's really a newer piece, but it's made to look old. This would be really cool as well. Even like sitting on a table, that would be like where you put your mail when you come in and even putting a mirror behind it, put this in front of it. It would feel like a really cool layered piece. And I thought that was a finder and a keeper. Okay, say it with me, you can never have too many candle holders. So I love this. This was a, it just calls it a red candle holder. Look how big and beautiful this one is. This is what's crazy. The original price on this was $20. Guys, I think I ended up paying somewhere around, yeah, there it is. I paid $1.99. And continuing on the you can never have too many candle holders. One category that I always pick from when I'm out and about is the candle holders for sure. Because most every home, whether they light the candles or not, maybe they're just for decorations or maybe it's the, is it the LED lights you put in now? We have one of those in our house, Matt just got in our hallway, in our Moroccan lamp, it's pretty cool. Where it looks like it flickers, but it's really not a candle. Those are really cool and really safe. So I do like those. But finding pieces like this for a dollar ninety nine guys here's an example of the other one that I bought I am in love with this look at this sweet little candle holder it has the little rosettes on it and they are a different they look almost like a copper the way they're painted and all this beautiful texture I love finding pieces that have a lot of texture in them and again this is like this looks brand new and I got it for $2.99. Matt bought a bunch of books. How sweet, he was like, oh look, Sonia, I picked this one up for you, The Host by Stephanie Meyer. You can see Matt's box of books as well. And inside, that's making it super heavy, is an amazing pottery piece that I found. Guys, I love pottery. Are you somebody like that as well? It's like a, it's like a dark chocolate brown. This would be really cool, again, for fall decorating, for winter decorating. So I'm gonna keep this piece for myself. It just feels like a really primitive bowl to me, a really rustic primitive bowl. So I'm all about it. Look how beautiful this is. Again, just another piece of homemade pottery and I got this big, chunky, gorgeous, dark glazed, what would you call it? It's almost like a basket. It's beautiful. I'm gonna put the two pieces together. Um, I got this one for $4.99. So Matt actually found the very next piece. He was like, Sonia, there is a birdcage. Did you see it? I'm like, no, because he knows I love, love, love a birdcage. So I scored this for $2.99. Even though this is a newer piece, this is not a vintage bird cage by any means, but it's still really cool. I like the fact that it has a little hanger on it so I could put it on the ceiling if I wanted to. I could again paint it a really cool color and change it up. And also um, I could put a candle inside of it, which I think would be really cool because on the bottom here, it's got a little toggle that you can open and put whatever you want inside. So I just thought this was so sweet and, and just a, such a cute piece. I scored this for $2.99 and it is literally a peach pear. <laughs> I remember my grandmother had an entire peach set of dishes in her china cabinet and that's just one of the memories I have. 
when I see this, it reminds me of her pieces that she collected. If you saw the vlog that I put up yesterday, we were over in Erie, we were at Goodwill this time, and we found a beautiful crocheted heart inside of a frame. It was a pink frame, and I told you guys I was going to paint the frame in cream. Well, don't you know, today, one day later, and that's the first time I'd ever seen anything like that, one day later, I go to this St. Vincent de Paul, and like two hours away at another location, and I find this sweet little piece. And honestly, I think I'll just go ahead and paint the frame up just a little bit. I might put that in the cream as well, but just to kind of like really freshen it up a little bit with the frame. <laughs> this piece I had to get because everybody loves a rooster. How about a colorful rooster? And I just thought that was a, this was a really cool picture. On the back it says that it was $19.99 originally. Well, I can tell you I did not pay $19.99. I paid $2.99. And while this frame has been kicked around and in places, it just needs some love and it's looking kind of tired, all I can do is grab my paint, my junk monkey paint, and paint this frame that sticks on pretty much anything under the sun. I don't have the prime or strip or sand or anything like that. So when I'm out and about and I find pieces like this, I'm thinking maybe like Woodland Fairy would look absolutely beautiful on here or red apple or even a white or even do you see those clouds in the sky back there actually be my honey wouldn't that be a cool look for this piece all right I'm gonna push those boxes back there and then this is this is the granddaddy this is the big finale piece I have Matt pull this one out from the store and bring it to the car all right, this is a pedestal, guys. It's a pedestal. Now, if I raise my, my leg up right here, just like this, like a little, uh, what do you call it? Like a little jack here. We'll put it up, do my exercises. You can see that it has a chip here and there's another chip over in the corner. But you guys know the power of paint, right? If we did a dry brush over this piece, allowing some of the metallic to come through, but at the same time covering up this down here with a concentration of paint, the very fact that it has a dent into it or it's cracked, we can make that look like part of the piece, right? Because this piece is supposed to look old. And old things, it's okay for them to have chips and things like that. This is a piece I'm also gonna keep for my home. I love it. And when me and Matt see pieces that we both agree on, we're like, oh yeah, absolutely. Let's go ahead and grab it. But for $3.99, guys, I'll show you the tag on the top. Ooh, can you see it right there? $3.99. There was no way I was leaving this piece. So stay tuned on the vlog because we are going to paint all this recent junk that we've been finding. By the way, tomorrow I have a special project. I'm gonna be working in the home of a client and I am going to be working on their ceiling wooden beams, okay? So I've got a special paint project coming up tomorrow right here in the vlog. If you've been following my vlog, you know that I love to make things look like, you know, dark wood, even though they're not. So actually my client saw me in action and asked if I could come into their home and work on their beams. They recently painted their kitchen white. It looks absolutely beautiful. You'll see it tomorrow on the vlog. If you've been thinking about doing your kitchen white, maybe you'll get some inspiration. And right now they are a, like a golden yellowy oak color. And so we're gonna change them up to really darken them to make them feel like really dark wooden beams to really match with some uh, things that they've changed out in their kitchen. So it's gonna be a good one. So join me tomorrow morning. We are going to reach for the stars, reach for the ceiling, and we'll get our exercise in tomorrow on a wonderful home project. Thanks guys for subscribing to my vlog, giving me a thumbs up, and leaving me a comment below. Did you enjoy my junking trip today? Did you see something that I picked that you're like, oh my gosh, I would have totally brought that home too. I would love to hear from you guys. I will see you tomorrow and we'll have some more fun. All right, have a great one. Bye.